from the Darth Hawk Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the cost of game development. Now, there's a game studio called Evening Star, which made a game, Penny's Big Breakaway, which is laying off six people. And uh, they claim it was because they're laying people off because of the volatile game industry and uh, because of the way, you know, the turbulence in the game industry. And they say, despite our best efforts to secure another project to keep our team together, we were in the unfortunate situation of having to lay off some of the folks that have worked with us for the last few years on Penny's Big Breakaway. This is the only game they've made, by the way. If you have room on your project for some best-in-class developers who ship to critically beloved console titles, then look no further than these amazing game devs. I cannot stress enough how amazing they all were to work with, how talented they are in their respective disciplines, and how lucky any team would be to have them on their project. From this, we, we, we can take away that, okay, you know, it took them a few years to make a game. This is the only game this company has made. Um, and it seems to be uh, better, so better on consoles than on Steam, because they say it's a critically beloved console title. So let's look, what, what do I think? I think it has nothing to do with, with the volatile game industry and what's going on in the game industry. Uh, after looking at everything, I think it's they had way too many people at this company. And it is a corporation structure. It has CTO and CEO. Um, <clears throat> so... And Your Gamer did another article. Of what, this game came out in February 2024. The Your Gamer did an article. Penny's Big Breakaway is a perfect blend of old school platforming and brilliant innovation. Uh, it was published by a private division. How much money does a publisher get? Uh, it it could range between 10 and 90% of the total game revenue. Um, we don't know. But that's that's the range. Uh, you know, and each publisher has their own different agreement. But uh, Private Division is part of Take-Two Interactive. This is, uh, they publish indie games. Uh, and how much money do does um, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo get for games sold on their platforms? Again, we don't know. Uh, here's some information about Steam uh, from the Steam part of it. So VG Insights, so the game made about half a million on Steam. Um, the game usual price is 29 $29.99. It's had discounts throughout the life of it being on Steam. So when you take 24390 times $29.99, it's higher than this. So this seems to be accurate. About half a million. Okay, half a million. Um, okay, 552000 It seems going to take 30% of that. How much does the publisher take? Well, let's be generous because we don't know. Let's say another 30%. Okay, so that would mean the developers are left with, what, 40%? Okay, and it's going to be less than that because um, of taxes and some other stuff. But anyway, let's say just this is from Steam. They're left with about 220,000, 221,000 almost. Um, now, there are about uh, 24,500 people on Steam who bought it. And according to Play Tracker, about 86,000 people total playing it. But then they say they have a, a variance of 120%, which is interesting. But anyway, um, now, games usually have a chart that looks like this. Starts up with, you know, hire people, buy it on the launch, and then there's a line. That's how it usually works. Um, we have the game, Penny's Big Breakaway, charts. Follows the same type of, you know, the same, the, more people buy it on launch, and then it just turns into a line, okay? Uh, there are games that go against the chart. Kenshi is one of them, where it this game was released back in 2008, 2013. Around 2018, it took off. Um, so it's like, wow, it's over a decade old, has still 5,000 people playing it. Very good Steam review. Um, but yeah, what this tells me is this studio, the indie studio that made Kenshi, they didn't have an advertising budget and it had to be spread by word of mouth and then it just took off. Uh, but anyway, so Penny's Big Breakaway, good Steam reviews for the most part, uh, about 700 reviews in total. Okay, and then we come to Evening Star, the game studio, which made the game, and they have 19 people on the site, people that work at this game studio. It has a corporate structure, CTO and CEO. Um, this is the only game they put out. They um, put on the website, this company's been around for six years. So did they take six years to make the game? I don't think so. 
it seems they might have made their own engine first i think um so i did find a starting engine uh on uh, github that's no longer in development but that's for making 2d games this is for making 3d um anyway maybe they took that and added 3d onto it i don't know uh but anyway it seems maybe they weren't working on the game for the full six years. Maybe they were doing something with an engine and then started working on the game. But the the thing is, they have way too many people for this to be their only game. Yeah. Um, this is the only game. It released in February 2024. And on the site, they have 19 people listed. Uh, have they already removed six images of people that they've let go or have they yet to do that um but yeah so you you take this and you divide it by 19. you're left with this okay but then of course the corporate officers are going to get more um and it looks like they did create their own engine lead engine architect so he's going to also get a bigger piece of the pie than uh everyone else so yeah you know and this is just for with steam you know and it, you think it might turn out maybe they even only each get around five thousand or six thousand <laughs> uh, because maybe the publisher takes more and of course you know the ceo the officers and uh, lead developers are going to take a bigger bigger slice of that pie um and they've been working on this for at least a few years at least a few years okay uh, so my analysis is they let people go because they have way too many people working on this game. That's my analysis. Um, <clears throat> so thanks for watching the video. I remember to play games and have fun. 